Oh, good God, I couldn't breathe in there. Oh, get away from me. On the table today, we have a movie exclusive Minions Posable Deluxe Action Figure Bob with Teddy Bear and a lunchbox to put him in. Going backwards, we have a movie exclusive Minions Bob with Teddy Bear in his package as he would appear on store shelves for around $14.99. These large posable deluxe action figure minions always feel pretty large in their packages. And with this new minions line, they are continuing with that same large blister card package. Only this one's a little more 60s orange with a little bit of yellow too on top. There looks to be a little more going on with these new deluxe figures before having only an action feature on the front here, but now we've got something as well on the back to move their eyes a little bit more, so that's kind of exciting. On the back of the box here, you can see some of the other minions available, and there are still some great build a minion sets. On the top we have a quick little synopsis of the new movie, and a little bit about Bob the Hugger. I believe his innocence is really going to make this guy a highly collectible and sought after toy. Also, a neat little behind the goggles and illumination story of how the minions came to be. Outside of his package, we have Bob the Minion, and it looks like this toy is a pretty seamless transition from the Minions made toys from the past few years. The only glaring difference now is that we do not have a Gru logo on their front pocket. What's really interesting about these new minions is the added features to their classic eye mechanisms. Before we usually just had a front pocket that activated their eyes, usually opening and closing or looking left and right. Also opening and closing mouth, which is always just a pretty seamless and well uh, effective action feature on these guys. But now on the back here we have an additional button, or at least we do for Bob, and you can move his eyes up and down and all around. So kind of test that out a bit a little bit here. You kind of press it in and also closes his eyes, so you gotta be a little careful, but you do get some pretty good eye movement uh, left and right and up and down, so really neat uh, mechanism going on inside this giant yellow pill. You will also notice inside those very deep goggles of Bob that he has the two different color eye tones, uh, brown and green, so kind of a cool thing that the toy carried on uh, there. As for articulation goes, uh, the arms are still pretty simple. We've got rotation and up and down and some elbows and no wrists, which would be really helpful. Uh, bringing out Kevin really quick here. Oh wait, that's Stuart. Where'd Kevin go? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, right. Uh, pretty much the same uh, in their joints on their arms, so, so nothing too much radically different there. And same thing with their feet, there's usually just a little bit of rotation on their legs down here, uh, so you can kind of mess around there, but that's really not going to do much for you. Anyhow, what makes Bob so awesome is the little lunch box he carries and the oh so adorable teddy bear, which I'm sure will get a lot of screen time in the new Minions movie. Uh, solid bear here, uh, brown with uh, button eyes and a little black nose and yellow tongue. And you can simply tuck him under uh, Bob's arm here and that actually holds off really well. I know some of the guns uh, from the Minion made stuff was kind of tricky to get them to hold, but he's just kind of tucking him in and looking ultra cute with that. And the fact that you're able to place this bear in a lunchbox is pretty neat too. Unfortunately, maybe there's not really a way to hold on to this lunchbox. The handle is uh, sealed onto the actual plastic, so you can't really carry it around other than holding it under his arm again. Uh, but still, it's a pretty fun accessory to have versus a uh, dart fart blaster or a uh, jelly gun, all that sort of thing. 
The toy is a little expensive, around $14.99 to $16.99, so you kind of really want to love it to buy it, but it's pretty well worth it uh, if you're totally addicted to Minion toys. And a quick scale comparison with the older Minion made Minions, Stuart and Kevin, which is funny that I picked up two of the other main characters of the new Minions movie without even realizing it. Uh, kind of fun and lucky on my part there, but again, there are some newer versions of Kevin and Stuart, I believe. But there you go. That's kind of the main core group of what you're going to see. And they look really good together, kind of the tall, short, and uh, stocky characters. Oh, banana! <laughs> So that is the ultra cute Bob with a teddy bear and lunchbox not to be missed if you are into total cuteness. Definitely a 180 from the other toys of the summer. But still totally awesome to collect. That's what I have to say about that. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Okay. Oh, okay.